we're going to look more closely at the regulation of the cell cycle and at some more details of apoptosis. First, a closer look at diffusible factors that control the cell cycle at so-called checkpoints. The first chemical factor that controlled some aspect of the cell cycle was isolated from developing frogs' eggs. Remember that frogs' eggs are quite large and easily observed through the light microscope. As meiosis I, the first division of meiosis, begins, the nuclear membrane disappears, a process called germinal vesicle breakdown. If the cytoplasm of an egg at the germinal vesicle breakdown stage is collected in a syringe, which is possible because of the large size of the egg, and then injected into an egg at an earlier stage, that is before germinal vesicle breakdown, the nucleus in the injected egg immediately undergoes germinal vesicle breakdown, prematurely starting its meiosis I. The conclusion from this experiment is that the oocyte in the germinal vesicle breakdown stage must contain a diffusible chemical factor that is able to induce meiosis in an earlier oocyte. Because this hypothetical factor initiated egg maturation, it was called the meiosis promoting factor, or MPF. MPF was easily purified from meiotic frogs' eggs and shown to be, of all things, a protein kinase made up of two polypeptide subunits. The green subunit here regulates the kinase activity of the polypeptide shown in gray. MPF is a kinase because it transfers a phosphate group from ATP to other proteins.